Excellency, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, Thailand underscores the improvement of road safety and aims to reduce road accidents by 2030. In order to support the achievement of SDG Target 3.6, Having road safety as one of the key thematic areas identified for the next regional action program. For sustainable transport development in Asia and Pacific, it's not just desirable but compulsory. Thailand looks forward to working closely with the ESCAP Secretariat and member countries in implementing the planned program and making the SDG target 3.6 a reality. In this line of view, I would like to introduce various initiatives implemented by the Ministry of Transport in order to tackle road safety issues in Thailand, which are categorized into three dimensions, road users, vehicle, and road environment. Road accidents are mainly caused by drivers. As a result, the Ministry of Transport collaborates with the Ministry of Interior and the Royal Thai Police to conduct year-round law enforcement for safe behavior, which includes wearing helmets, using seat belts, adhering to speed limits, and obeying traffic laws. Currently, the ministry uses GPS technology to track and monitor driving behavior of bus and cargo trucks. The ministry has started enforcing the point deduction system for public transport such as taxis, motorcycle taxis, buses, and cargo trucks. Since the 1st of December 2021, by combining the technology and the point deduction system, the ministry believes that a large number of accidents caused by drivers can be greatly reduced. The Ministry of Transport requires all vehicles to be inspected annually. In addition, the inspection requirements for public transport vehicles are strict. One of those is that the inspection must be done at least twice a year per terminal. Random checking points are set up along the road throughout the country to inspect public transport vehicles. This is to ensure the vehicle safety and pollution emissions to meet the requirement. The initiative result in an enormous decrease in the number of accidents, especially during the long holiday season. The ministry also used the concept of safe system approach in which the road infrastructure should help reduce damage in event of accident and increase driving visibility. The ministry had developed rubber fender barriers for using on highways that formerly had flushed median to separate traffic lanes or had head-on collision cases. Crash tests from the Korea Automobile Testing and Research Institute found that when crashed at a speed of 120 km per hour, the barrier prevents cars from crossing over the median. Lastly, traffic information system is used to inform road users, weather information and traffic information in advance. I would like to inform you that the government of Thailand is committed to resolving the road safety issue by setting it as one of the nation agendas and encouraging all sectors to take action. This includes technology as a tool for law enforcement, launching a campaign to raise safe driving awareness among Thai of all age and creating a safe road environment that meet international standards in order to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs in the area of road safety. Lastly, I would like to play the video that summarizes the remarkable achievement in the field of road safety, consisting of the rubber fender barrier, highway improvement to support the speed limit of 120 km per hour, and the road safety fund. The Ministry of Transport has introduced various initiatives as tools to improve road safety in Thailand. Recently, the Ministry has to invent, research, and develop the Rubber Fender Barrier RFB, the rubber shield that cover the concrete barrier to absorb in the impact of collision. According to the testing result in Thailand, RFB reduced the crashing impact by 49%. It also prevents the car from crossing the barrier to opposite lanes, which is the cause of up to 17% of fatal road accidents in Thailand. In addition, the Korea Automobile Testing and Research Institute confirmed the corresponding result. Thailand has completed nationwide the installation of RFB on 94 road projects with a budget of over 2,700 million baht. 
After 12 months of installation, the road accident rate on the installed road network had shrunk as follows. The number of deaths reduced by 52.9%. The number of serious injuries decreased by 68.8%. And with no collision caused by vehicle crossing the barrier to opposite lanes. Another key issue is the traffic flow's conflict in appropriate speed in each lane on national highways and rural roads, as it is one of the cause of traffic accidents. To address this issue, the Ministry of Transport has enacted a ministerial regulation to regulate the vehicle speed on national highways or rural roads. BE 2564 2021 with the upper speed limit of 120 km per hour, it was found that there was a 29% drop of accidents compared to the previous year. Lastly, the initiative will set a new design standard for future highways and rural roads in Thailand. Besides, using the national budget to improve road safety, the Minister of Transport has established Road Safety Fund under the supervision of the Department of Land Transport as another source of finance. The fund is from the auctioning of 301 popular license plate numbers in each alphabetical category, with an annual income of over 1.2 to 1.7 billion baht. In forging forward, Thailand sets to increase the strength of Road Safety Fund by attracting more bidders through a safe, customized license plate auction, such initiative is estimated to raise an additional income of 300 to 500 million baht per year to the Road Safety Fund, in which this will truly ensure a safe and sustainable transport system for the betterment of all road users.